Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shades. Nice to see you. It's nice to be back here in the bathroom shaving with my friends. You guys, how on earth are you? How on earth are you? Are you on earth? Are you in space? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Um, here today, uh, it's mid-May, so coming up for kind of summer. It's raining, it's dull, it's grey. A little bit of wind, it's cold. Feels like autumn, so I thought today I'll have a nice shave with some nice gear, uh, share it with my friends, and we'll just do that and relax. How does that sound? Good? Yeah. Right, let me show you what I'm using. Uh, the razor for today is uh, my favourite razor ever, 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 so far, unless one better comes along. Uh, it's the Rockwell 6S. Stainless steel, yeah, a bit of a workhorse of a razor. It's um, an adjustable, in a way it has um, different numbered plates here. There's the top cap there. Uh, so it goes, there's five on that side, six on that side. You get the other ones, they're the same, but they have four and two and one and three on each side. But uh, I like using this one. So I'm going to start on plate number six. Uh, the blade I'm putting in that is a Voschod. Voschod. Um, second use on that blade, one dot there with a the sharpie. That's how I tell, I've used it once. So that's the blade we're going to be putting into the razor. Here we go, Teflon coated. Uh, there's the top cap there, is there. Right, so the blade goes on like that. And whatever number's showing here, so you can see number five there or number six. If number six is showing like that on the bottom, if that's what you can read, that's the plate you're using. So six is the most aggressive. I put a little plastic washer on there. If you're looking for these washers, search on eBay for plastic washer size M5. There we go. Blade all loaded up. A little bit overhang at the sides, but that's okay. Beautiful razor, I love it. It's not for everyone. Some people think it's a bit industrious, industrious, industrial looking, um, but I love it. It always uh, seems to shave me well. Yeah, it has Rockwell on the side and Rockwell on that side. You can get the 6C in Chrome, which is a little bit cheaper, um, but whether it will hold up over the years, it probably will if you look after it, um, but I like the 6S. Uh, the soap we're going to be using today, I've had this for a while, I don't think I've used it on video, but um, I can't remember using it on video anyway. It's uh, Martin de Candre Agrumes, and that is French for citrus. Basically what it is, glass jar, there's the label there, um, yeah it has a, a bit in French there for all you French readers, <laughs> and there is the ingredients on the bottom, 200 grams, so a big old tub and it's filled right to the top, and it's a beautiful scent, some people say this is the best soap in the world that you'll ever use, it is expensive for this jar, glass jar, I think it's roughly about £50, but it will last you, if you're shaving every day, every single day, it will last you for about a year, This uh, one of these big pots. You get them in different scents, uh, this is a citrus one, you also get a fougere, rose, um, I think you get a plain one, whatever that is, I don't know, and I think there's another one, but I can't recall what it is. Is it natural or something like that? No. Anyway, onto the brush. Uh, I'm going to Italy, badger brush today. That's been soaking in the Sticky Duffy Wooden Super Soaker. Not seen that for a while. Yeah, this was a, this is a brush made by a company in Italy called Riva. And this is a natural bog oak wooden handle. It's all been treated, you can see it there. Beautiful. This was a very, very kind gift from a very, very good friend. Um, Vinny, my cousin Vinny, Vincent De Vivo, um, he got me this brush from Riva. I think he got one very similar, if not the same, um, but it's beautiful. You should check out the Riva website if you're after a high-end badger brush. Um, yeah, these are the guys to look at. They're absolutely stunning, some of the, the brushes they put out. Yeah, so it's a big old chunky brush. I think that's about a 20, it looks like 26 maybe. But I'll put it back in there just now, just in the water. Um, what for? Because I'm going to make a lather up. I don't know. <laughs> right, let's wet the face and uh, we shall get going. Right, that's 
so whiskers wet. I've just came out of the shower anyway, but that's okay. Right, let's get this brush. Give it a good flick. So it's still damp. I just go into this soap here. Yeah, some people say you only need about 10 swirls of Martin de Candre. But I'm, how many is that? One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's probably about a thousand. That should be fine. It should be fine. Right, we'll see if that's enough. We'll just start uh, painting this onto the face and then we'll add water as we go. Yeah, look, you can see how dry and pasty that is. But um, I love building a lather, as you know, and it's even better with a a natural hairbrush, like a badger or a boar. Um, synthetic knots are great, but I still like using um, a badger knot from time to time. Right, I'll just dip the tips of the brush there. So I'm just going to paint some water into this. As you can see, and I'll just take my time. Yeah, this is a, a kind of, I think it's, was it Chris Madden that started this technique, painting the water until it's kind of translucent and then splaying the brush. And it does seem to work. I'm just going to splay it now. Look at that. Yeah, the scent on this is really, really, really nice. If you like citrus, this is for you. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It smells very um, natural. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water there. Yeah, this brush is so soft. to the brush there, look, so you can see it dripping off. Now I'm just painting it and then splaying it a little bit and then painting it. Yeah, you can take as much time as you want building a lather. I always do, even if I'm filming it, I don't mind. If the video runs on, it runs on. I like people watching. I like um, people watching. Yeah, I like people watching. I like um, people creating the lathers and stuff, so I like to do it myself as well. Just dip the tips again. Say heaven. Yeah, that's a good enough lather. Very good. Yeah, I um I mean I know everyone's different, but personally I don't see um spending a lot of money on a soap like this, it can take lots of water, so use it, that's what makes the soap slick, you know, and um Give you a nice cushion and stuff like that. But it depends what kind of lather you want. Everyone's different, I guess. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, let's uh, heat this razor up. The Rockwell success. The Rockwell success. 
Uh, on plate number six, most aggressive with the Voskhod blade. I love you. I love you too, Kevy. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, effortless. So good. It just feels really nice. Nice and smooth. Great feedback. The balance is good. It has a, it has a little bit of drag to it, I'll admit that, the, the, with this coating on the head and stuff like that, uh, but I like it. I've said it before, the 6, uh, uh, the 6C uh, is much, much more glide across the face. There we go, first pass done. Yeah, great slickness on that. Okay, let me rinse it, I'll come back for the second pass. Okay, that's that rinsed off nicely. Yeah, good slickness there. Um, right, I flipped it over, I flipped the, the plate over to number five. So from number six to number five, flip it. <laughs> right back to this brush. Yeah, the, uh, the tips on this are so soft. Right here, there. Yeah, the packaging of this brush as well is uh, really nice. It's good. Right, second pass. Plate number five, six S across the growth. A little bit of overhang on this razor, so just be careful if you have one. Uh, oh, you'll know that yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little while since I posted a video. I was, um, I'm, uh, I'm doing a play at the Edinburgh Fringe. Uh, and if anybody doesn't know what the Edinburgh Fringe is, it's the, it's the biggest arts festival in the world. In the uh, month of August, the whole of August, um, Edinburgh uh, transformed itself into um, lots of festivals for like the arts, like music, comedy, 
uh, books. There's a book a book festival in August. Um, you know, dance, theatre, music, yeah, just everything. I think the uh, the population of Edinburgh <laughs> in August almost doubles. It's a wonderful city as it is, but it's just a great atmosphere, a great place to be. So I've been, uh, I was cast in a play that's uh, appearing in August at the French for two weeks. So I'm doing that. So that's, I've been busy kind of rehearsing stuff and going over my lines, but I'll tell you all about it later. Um, you're more interested in the shape, right? Yeah. Right. Second pass. Feels great. Let me have a quick rinse and I will come back and we'll chat some more. Okay. Back for a third pass. I thought I was doing well there. Um, no lather on the shirt, but um, yeah, it happened. Yeah, this uh, the scent on this is very natural. You know when you get some citrus scents, they smell a bit like like candy sweets and stuff like that. Uh, a bit kind of fake smelling, but yeah, this is uh, spot on. Really good. Right, yeah, I'm just leaving this on plate five. So uh, let's go against the growth with that. Yeah, that's where some people don't like it, uh, the, the drag from the, the coating on the success. Especially going against the grain, but if your soap's slick enough, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Yeah, it should be fine. And this is uh, definitely slick enough. Right, here's a question. Has anybody tried a sample of uh, Martin de Candre? Do you think it's worth the, the price point? For uh, buying a, a, a full tub. A little weeper there. Yeah, if you bought if you bought the sample, did you then go on to buy the full tub? Or did you think, nah, I can buy um, two other tubs of soap for that, the cost of that. I think that's what the, um, I think that's what puts a lot of people off. I mean, all right, you can buy that whole jar for about 58 pounds, so it's probably about, I don't know, 60, 70 dollars. And if you use it every day, it will last you a year, which is great. But who wants to use the same soap every day? That's what a sweat shaver That's the problem with that. You'd probably buy it like me and use it maybe once every, <laughs> once a year. <laughs> no, maybe more than once a year, but you get what I'm saying. Um, it's a lot to shell out. That's maybe why it's better just buying a little sample of it, just trying it out like that. Right, that's three passes done. That was quick. Wow. Let's have a little rinse. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the success always does its job great. Is there any pickups needing done? A little bit, tiny bit there. Tiny bit there. Yeah. Yeah, so just in the usual spot on the neck. Mustache feels great. Yeah, just down that jawline there. You can hear that.
How are your shades going? Well, how are your shades going? Well, well, how are your shades going? Well, how are your shades going? <laughs> I'll often do that. There's a, if there's any Doctor Who fans watch these videos, there's a, a, a famous Doctor Who, Tom Baker, um, he was one of the doctors, probably in the 70s, maybe 80s. Um, and he always used to say, um, well, he didn't always say it, but his kind of catch line for Doctor Who was, would you like a jelly baby? Um, you know, you would say that to his new assistants and stuff like that. And uh, it's a great way to phrase that. Um, you can phrase it so many different ways. Would you like a jelly baby? 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 You get the drift. <laughs> right, that's that done. Right, let's uh, scoop this out, the brush. Clean. And uh, I'm gonna have a face wash with this. Whoa, that's luxurious. I'll leave it on, then I'll rinse it off with hot water, and then I'll rinse my face with cold water, and I'll clean out all the gear, and I'll see you for the post shave. Mmm, beautiful. Yeah, skin feels great. Really nice and conditioned, smooth, soft, excellent. Right, on to the post shave. Um, this is Boots the Chemist, Cucumber Facial Toner, cleans fresh, clean, fresh and fabulous. Just like me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it kind of smells like a, like a witch hazel, maybe just a little bit more body to it. Not quite as um, watery, but beautiful cucumber scent. Yeah, I'm getting uh, all the, the fruit and vegetables today in this shave. It's good. Uh, then the aftershave I'm going to use is, uh, I've not used this for a long, long time. Um, it was super drug. It's uh, Sierra and Breeze. It's kind of citrusy, very cheap. You probably pick this up for about £2.50. Comes in a glass bottle, which is great. It has a kind of clean, aquatic, citrusy, Well, little bit of sting there. Woohoo! Yeah. Nice scent. It's kind of like a, yeah, citrusy, aquatic, old school, but worth it for two and a half pounds. Good stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to finish it off with the Boots Cucumber Moisturising Lotion for a smooth day. Yeah, so we'll have some of that. Just put a little touch on, just that much. Yeah, you don't need much. Yeah, I've not used much of that and you can still smell the aftershave, so. All good, all good, all good. There we go. Beautiful shave. Skin is glowing. I like the weather outside here. <laughs> Dull and grey and dark and blech. Right, let me show you what I've used in this wonderful shave. Uh, the razor was the fantastic Rockwell 6S. Still my favourite razor. Um, first and first pass on plate number six, second and third pickups on plate number five. Inside that was a second use Voskhod blade. I've had smoother feeling blades, I must admit, but um, I've done the job, as you can see. Oh, a couple of little weepers there. Um, yeah, I've not always had a good relationship with Voskhod blades uh, in the past, but it seemed to work okay in this. Probably I felt smoother blades, but it was okay. It done the job. Uh, the brush was the beautiful, beautiful Riva um, Badger brush with uh, the bog, I think it's natural bog oak handle. Yeah, there it is there, all cleaned out. Very nice. Thank you, Vinny. Still using this beautiful brush. 
I shall treasure it always, buddy. Um, the soap, was this? There it is, all cleaned out. Uh, Martin de Candre Agrumez, uh, which is citrus. Yeah, um, there's always going to be a debate in wet shaving about this soap, um, whether it's worth the money or not. Some people say it will, uh, some people say it is, some people say, yeah, it's, it's too costly for what it is, but you have the choice whether to buy it or not. I'll put links for everything that I can find and you can go and have a look for yourself. Um, we did three passes, pickups, face wash, uh, the post shave was Boots the Chemist, Cucumber, Facial Toner, the aftershave was Super Drug, but, uh, aftershave lotion, <laughs> Sierra and Breeze, and we finished off with the Boots the Chemist, Cucumber, Moisturising Lotion. And there we'll have it. Yeah. There's a weeper there, and there's two tiny little dots there. But other than that, very smooth. Yeah, everything's drying in now, which is great. Feels good. Right, good stuff. I um, hope you're having some great shave yourself. I uh, hope the weather is better than it is here. Um, that's not difficult. But um, yeah, good shaves to you all. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, look after loved ones, stay safe, and uh, yes, we'll see you then. Hopefully, pretty soon. Okay, until then, take care.